Relaxing Saturday. What's going on, everybody? Oh, Jesus, look at this. This tan line around my socks. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, it happens. Yes, I know, my friends. Uh, we had a really, really amazing one hour and 40 minute live video on YouTube, which is incredible. Um, I just talked about uh, demos, live shows, I mean, like audio shows, CD is going on right now, wish I was there, all of my friends are there. Not as much coming back out of Pacific Audio Fest, so that sucks. Um, I know that we can't be everywhere all at once, uh, I mean, we're not Mr. Manhattan, <laughs> The quantum physics is still a long ways off for us from being mastered. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little selective. A lot of people have to decide where they want to be. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to follow along as best as possible. Toronto Audio Fest is coming up for me here in Toronto, which is really cool. Uh, March will be Montreal Audio Fest. Between then and now, there's going to be a Las Vegas The Show. There's going to be Florida Audio Fest, which is usually February. Uh, you know, it's it's hard pressed to get around to everything. I think CES is in January. I'm not really sure. Um, I certainly can't afford it without any work or contracts. So my anticipation is very, very minimal at this point. I just got to continue to do my small channel stuff, build a community slowly over time, the way that any hard work needs to be done, and just try to stay enthusiastic about things. Because let's face it, the world's going through a lot of different changes, a lot of politics, a lot of um, world issues, uh, humanitarian issues. Audio is not exactly a priority versus those things, so... The dynamics of my channel and my topics have to be adjusted simultaneously. I mean, yes, I'm primarily uh, attracted to audio and music. That's a big part of what I started everything based on. But the reason why my channel name changed from audio specialist to Siphonics is the inclusion of psychology and the issues surrounding the audio and music industry where psychology is a concern. Politics and world trade and stock prices and company success, all of those things have to do with people in general, but also the success of the industry. When prices change, our MSRP changes, our lead times change, proce uh, processing uh, and manufacturing changes, the costs change, certain political atmospheres change, and then all of a sudden the the live show that was supposed to happen in China now for the trade show and the uh, loudspeaker sourcing show that's now been delayed for certain issues. Now, who knows when that's going to be uh, rescheduled. This is a big reason why human psychology and the way that our society works is a big part of my talking points because it's all connected. The reason why the speaker manufacturers have to raise their prices could be because of the price of aluminum or the lead times in processing or the driver manufacturing somewhere in China or Indonesia or Europe has changed so they can't get the same parts anymore. So then they have to change all of those prices in order to keep up with all of the changes in the world. All of those changes are based on politics, policies, working conditions, what happened when everybody was sent home in March of 2020, right? Like it changed the, the way that business was done. Inflation over the last three years is crazy. So what do we do to keep up? You know, how can we maintain, stay excited, stay uh, enthusiastic, and then still able to produce content and create the way we want to? It's a very, uh, very, very tricky thing. So this is going to be a short one. I'm going to keep this one short. Just wanted to play out the rest of this song. Thank you to my friends that joined me for the one hour and 40 minute live. Please watch that video. I will come back over the next few days, few weeks. I have a couple of wrap up videos to do for the synergistic research equipment, which I don't have anymore. It has gone back. 
I will give you my final thoughts and notes, and then I will do the Orchard audio review, and then I'll move the Arundels back and continue doing some of that. For now, I'm just sitting listening to some music, just relaxing here on a Saturday, enjoying the cool air just over my mirror, which I did put back in my room. Sorry, you know, it's 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 part of the thing. Um, not that it sounds worse, not that it sounds better. I don't notice a whole lot because it's actually below my hearing level. If it was straight on, it might bounce back directly, but it's actually just angled down and into the floor. I don't know that I'm going to get much reflection that way, to be honest. I don't hear it. I hear more from this and the ceiling than I do from the mirror. So just don't worry about the mirror. At least I have socks on this time. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough from me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. What shows are you looking forward to? What do you really want to see from media and content creators? Please comment. Please give some positive, not positive. I don't care. Say whatever you want in the comment section. doesn't matter. I'm going to turn off the restrictions. I'm going to turn off the moderation and say whatever you want. You're not going to get deleted unless it's rude and disrespectful. But any kind of opinion on the business, any kind of business uh, or any kind of opinion on the shows, what you'd like to see more of, what you see too much of, stuff like that, please let me know. Uh, it's all valuable feedback because all of our peers and all of the content creators that are out at CD and Pacific and all these shows all year, we're all sort of friends, roughly. We've all gotten to know each other. And you know what? All of the All of the feedback from the people out there is valuable because that's what we're creating based on. What people want, what people like, what they don't like, what they're looking for, what kind of information is actually valuable, maybe something that's missing out there. Um, the more feedback and the more sort of data points that people have to go on, the better the content creation can be, the more accurate, the more entertaining, that kind of thing. Uh, and hopefully it's worth something to somebody, you know, um, can't be perfect, can't always do everything, can't be everywhere all at once. But you know what? I think that by being transparent and being authentic, we should be able to build a community and a reasonable amount of content creation and product showcasing that is honest and showcases what is valuable for people. So that's what we're looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know what everybody else are doing. They Those guys might get paid to do stuff and paid to go on trips and paid to show up at shows and paid to do this and paid to do that. Those guys have their business. That's cool. I don't. I have my mind, my experiences, my desire to inspire community and I'm just trying to do my best. And right now this is my best. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Please watch the hour and 40 minute long live bits at a time if you need to just go back to it bookmark it i'll see you all in the future and thank you very much for being supportive on this channel it really means a lot to me and hopefully my videos are worth while and mean a lot to you both sides are important okay see you in the future